I still uh, yeah okay good I'm a little bit flustered but um <laughs> what Jim wants to ask Jim to play DuckTales for two hours ain't gonna happen not for two hours anyway um so yeah I have a lot of mega games we can play um let's take a look so pick a letter any letter let's pick L so shout out if you see anything you want to see or if you can think of a game Literacy Larry <laughs> Lionheart that looks good but look Llamatron ooh yeah so many games Armageddon Mega Gusto wait is Mega Gusto a word? Laser okay we have three suggestions four suggestions oh my god uh, I'll take the first one Mega Gusto either isn't in this pack or it doesn't exist, or it's just a thing you said that isn't a game. Armageddon. That rings a bell. Armageddon. No, it wasn't a game. Okay. Let's bring back Captain Planet. He's a hero. Can take pollution and something else. Armageddon, right. What is. Is that a. Um, is that a. There we go. Armageddon. Let's see if it supports the second floppy drive. Just I could have just done this, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm a little out of it today. I didn't sleep too well. Dungeon Master. Uh, is there a Doctor Who for the Amiga? I don't know. Okay, let's just fade out the music. Okay. Mega Trainer can be requested. Ah, Psygnosis game. Armageddon. Yeah, is this like a Scorch Tanks kind of deal? I don't remember. Unfortunate flickeriness. This one called Dalek Attack. Okay. Ooh. Look at this intro. How cool is that? Oh, wow. Some really nice uh, pixel art here. Ooh, some 3D rendered uh, stuff here. I don't know if this is supposed to be music or just some kind of like robot noise, but it's kind of annoying. Bap, 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 bap. Plot, indeed. Something exploded. Crack, okay. No second drive. That's too bad. There's so many games that didn't support a second disk drive. It's it's, it's weird, you know, because what it, I I don't know how hard that would have been to program. Boom! Good start to the stream. Thank you. Is it gonna work? Do we need to press thing? Hello, Dreddy. Welcome. With your fish of power. <laughs> why isn't it working? Oh, I put disk one back in. That's why. Because I'm not a smart man. There we go. <laughs> Anyone here using Disney Plus UK? Are you asking about The Mandalorian? Because that's a really good series. Okay, we have start single, start multi, surrender. Wow, they really let you hit the ground falling. I am the, I, I am the greatest man in the world. No, I'm not. Uh, format disc, no. Auto joy. Isn't that what we all want? Automatic joy. Just everything we want immediately. Okay, let's just... Uh, should we do training? Shall we do training? No, let's just jump right in. You can tell me what to do. Oh. Well, look at this. That's... It's disorienting. What is this? Star Trek Discovery. Can you stop the camera moving? No, spin. There we go. Okay, we have... Um, a rain cloud and a fighter. Map messages. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have. Uh... Oh, missile. Okay. Wait, what? Maybe I should have done training mode. Hello, Arcturus. Welcome to the stream. Are you sure you don't need training? Yeah. Uh, it's not letting me turn it on now. Oh well. Device one: heavy tank. Cool. Light tank. Hovercraft. 
Bomber. Fighter. Helicopter. This looks cool. Laser. Bomb. Rocket. Missile. Neutron bomb. Lots of stuff. Uh, so this is research. Let's research a light tank. That's a good thing to start with. Yes, put... Ah, you see, you put scientists on it. And engineers. Let's also research a fighter. Oh, that's already developed. Okay. So put engineers on it. Does that mean we build them? Okay. Percent man. We have 12% man. Intel. Gosh, this reminds me of an early DOS game. Can't remember details. Just faint memory. I have no idea what kind of game this is. This was suggested by... Uh, Salty Dog UK. <clears throat> Apologies, I didn't welcome you to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So, Salty Dog, how the hell do we play this? Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much with this, because this is the kind of game where you need to learn how to play it. Percent man is better than percent zombie. Equip. Okay. Heavy tank, like to... So, we have two. We have nah. Uh... We have no one in the roster. Stores? Okay. We have a heavy tank. We have a light tank. We haven't developed these. We have we have a helicopter and a laser. What else could you want? Uh, hmm. This just seems to be the main menu. Oh, look. We have things. I think. It's probably keyboard controls. The precursor to Cursal Space Program. Yes, it, it really is. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to have to start over. Oh, wait. Does it say pilot vehicle? I can't do it. It's not. Look at this nice little chip here. In its 0072. I think ultimately it's a flight driving simulator. This sequel was, but I'm not sure how you get there. Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do the let's let's come see if we can come out of it and do the training. I could just start mashing buttons and see what happens. Hmm. Uh, surrender. There we go. Well, that was fun. Okay, training mode on. Start single. Start single. There we go. Okay, train me. There is no... I, pr stop it. Training mode probably just means like it's easier. <laughs> uh, or I have access to all the things. Yeah, that's what that means. It looks like. Yeah. It still expects you to read the manual. You can always play some lemmings. That's true. Um, so unless anyone can help me, I'm not going to read up how to play this game right now. So we'll, we'll do something else. Because um, this is just... Uh, it's not really possible. Boop, boop, yep. God, games were so... Just... You just had to read the manual. That's all there is to it. So we have... Uh, let's, let's go back and look at some of the other suggestions that came before. Dungeon Master... Laser Squad. I have played Laser Squad. How about Last Ninja? That sounds good. That seems a little bit easier to get into. I think I've played... Like, Wait, Lost Ninja or First Samurai? Which am I thinking of? <laughs> the Lost Ninja Remix. There's a remix? Okay. Target 2, Stunt Car Racer. Don't remember the options, but played loads as a kid. Yeah, I'd like to check it out. I, mean, I could do a, a proper video on the YouTube channel of it, but I'd need to, I'd need to learn it, probably. Let's... Uh, Ah, here we go. Listen to this music. Yeah, I'm generally favouring games I haven't played before, because, you know, I like to mix it up and see some new things. Do you want to restore a safe game? No. Last Ninja was huge on the C64. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I mean, I remember seeing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that, that, that picture of the eyes there I'm the captain now um, was Laugh of 35's um, oh oh dear I'm not ready for combat uh, oh oh dear it was Laugh of uh, no I should probably face the enemy 
That's the first rule of ninja. I could just... Yeah. Um... <laughs> run away! <laughs> it was Lapis 85's profile picture. May he rest in peace. Sad loss to the Amiga retro gaming community. Oh, flashing sword. Can I get it? Don't walk on the grass. Let's see. I can kick. I'm kicking at it. I'm pointing at it. Um, let's see. Is there a keyboard control? Yeah, he's a lovely chap. Okay, someone's gonna help me out here. How the hell do I nine? Button and down? That's that's the kick. Or that. Hold button and press down. He's, he's kicking. This is the tale of the second to last ninja. That's why. Right. Damn it. Okay, let's just uh Curses! Amiga games! Come on! I thought this would be simpler. <laughs> Okay, let's just move on. Sorry, sword, we're too stupid. Uh, can I jump? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he just slides into the water. Really? It expects you to platform across those things? Wow. Yeah, makes got different controls. Oh, am I gonna make it? Yes! Wow, partial success. Hi there. Uh, bye. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, I would fight you, but oh wait, I do know how to fight you. I like this. Come on, join the dance party. Da, 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 da. Oh no! Yeah, kick him in the nuts. 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 Poke him in the face. Oh, he's dead. Good. Better than we thought. Ah, uh, tea bag. <laughs> oh look, there's a there's a, a Buddha statue. Hey, 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 hey. Platform across the stones. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Can't tell. If I, okay. Ah, it's really. Oh, nunchucks. This, this guy isn't using them. I just found a drunk with his nunchucks. I wish I could pick it up. Is there a second button? When you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. No. Yeah. Anyone want to look at the controls? <laughs> That'd be nice. Or key! All these inventor items and I can't get them. Backpack really would be so sad. I can point, I can punch, punch this tree. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, oh! Collect sword, holding something. Okay, I need to go, the board is telling me to get a sword. Alright. Maybe now I can pick it up because because uh... hello Starcloak, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out how to pick up an object. It's a very difficult thing to do. I'm pressing every button. Did you call him Backpack Billy? No. <laughs> did I? Maybe I did. Uh, yeah, he's he's like a, a miniature version of Pack. Really, you can fit in, in your in your backpack. It's like uh, yeah. Can I can I kneel at this one? Apparently not. This one's overgrown. Yeah, I don't know how to do anything. Oh, there's an enemy. So don't fight. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna kick him kick him in the nuts, poke him in the face. That's the way of the ninja. Oh yeah, that's easy enough. Just just doing that. Yeah, the, co the combat leaves something to be desired. <laughs> like everything. Music is good, it's got that very... Oh, damn it. I don't want to do that again. Oh, he's gone. He decomposed. He went back to the soil. Such is the circle of life. Try right, any diagonal and fire, okay. That does the jump. That does the squat. Is this a Slavic ninja? <laughs> it's not a dad's. That's a purple squat, that's not Slavic. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Yeah, he's 
exactly. I can, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Apparently you have to line your hands up with the object. Oh! And then press what? It's still confusing, yeah. Oh, I got it! I got it! Yeah, you just have to kind of attack it. Wait, wait a minute. Now it's down below. Can I use it? How do I use them? I want to use the nunchucks. Pick up objects. This function uses the crouch movements to collect objects. Crouch movements. Right. Yeah. Your hands must be touching the object, even though... Okay, right. So I've got to squat near the object, like this. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. Pro gamer. We figured it out. Uh, yeah, I don't have the sword. I'm going to have to go back to get that, but I wish I could... How do I use the weapons? Just dancing here. Yeah. Thank you for the whole space. Oh! Yeah! Look at that. It's not quite into the dragon, but it's something. Can I pick that up? Oh, what is that? I found a bag of shit. <laughs> ah, here we go. You are no match for me. Your kung fu is lousy. I mean, my kung fu is, is, is even worse, but you know. come on. Just stand in there. Boogie. <laughs> This is, this is silly. He's stuck on the terrain, that's why, isn't it? Oh dear. Come on, do it. That's the wrong move. You're doing it wrong. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Keep poking him with the S. Wow. Pull my nunchuck. Key H and space. Oh. H changes what we're holding. Okay, cool. Hey there. Wah, 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 wah. I am ninja. <laughs> wow, that's effective. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, the wasteland. Oh, look, can we pick up something else? What is that? How many objects can we hold? We found, I don't know, a coin? Like the music for C64 is arguably, arguably better, but there are a few recent reimaginations. Flummoxed by my superior dance technique. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's running away. He's a smart. Oh, no. He's, he's changed his mind. Here he comes. No. Ah, oh, I will defeat you. Oh, I fell over. I got tired. Lives remaining zero. No. Oh, right. Yeah. It's like extra lives remaining. That's what it is. Come on. Hit him. Hit him, hit him repeatedly in the face until he dies. There we go. That's the way of the ninja. I really like this old chip tune style of music. I don't know what you call it. It's, it's, it resembles some music I remember from the Atari ST. It's like, technically I think less sophisticated, you know, like the, the, the much Amiga music, but I like it. It's got that real crunchy sort of I don't know, I always struggle to... This bit. That sort of high-pitched... thing. I, I, I never know how to describe music. It seems to defy description. Almost. Uh, I, oh, ah! The sword! The object of our quest! No. no. There. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, can we go the other way? I'm just going to go the long way around. Trilling is called an arpeggio. Thank you. Uh, I'm quite mus musically ignorant. That's good to know. But like that specific type of chip tune arpeggio that had that character to it, you know, that you don't hear in any other, even in other synth music, really, as far as I know. Oh dear. <laughs> the greatest nemesis of stones on the water. Yeah, it's true. Wait, is this the wrong way? Was it? Which way was it? already lost. Oh yeah, that's... yeah, okay. Yeah, this... 
I imagine this was very, if it looks similar, it was very, wait, that's, that's confusing. <laughs> Direction just changed. Aha! Okay, so, what was it again? H for holding? Oh no, we have it under weaponry. There we go. So, uh, wait, space. Let's bring out the sword. Yeah. Wah! Wah! <laughs> so, I have your sword! I mean, come on. I have it. Come on. Isn't it impressive? Look at it. What? This is the most fun you've had on the Mega Street for some time. I'm oh, glad to hear it. It helps for you, let me. Uh, come on, take the sword Why you want it. Uh, you told me to get it. And then you didn't want it anymore. You bloody thing! Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. But, but everything's a circle. Like, everything's... Everything's just... You know, there's no... I've killed everyone. And you don't even let me turn in my quest. Do I have to give it to this one? This is a close second to DuckTales, yeah. <laughs> so where's the series name for its music? All right. Who's the composer? Ah! Be well, careful. Who's the composer? Ninjutsu is not the way of the Buddha. Yeah, it really isn't. <laughs> like, hired killers. Not very Buddhist. I don't know. I know a little bit about Buddhism, not a lot. Yeah, but like a lot, uh, uh, a lot of uh, Western interpretations of Eastern stuff is just like it, everything's all jammed together. It's like you know, it's not, it's nothing to do. Oh, fine, just as much like it. This one is Rain Uhan. What? I do not know what you mean. Oh, the salty dog. Thank you for following 22 minutes ago. I didn't see the notification. It's supposed to make a noise that I can hear, but it's not seem to, it seem to be working. I'm still fairly new to Twitch. But yeah, we're just this is just a walking simulator now. Um, oh, the composer! Right, oh. Um, yeah. So... Uh, any ideas what I should do now? Because this is just... It's nice, it's a nice walk in the park. But, uh, uh, let's try it. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm celebrating. Come on. Jump. What? I can't seem to jump off it. Ah, I did it. Okay. Did you go back to the Oracle? I did, but he didn't. I mean, I, I tried to go to this one. I tried to go to the other one, and he doesn't, he doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm using the, the weapon, I've got it in my hand. Maybe I need to not be using it. This is a rather complicated game, so yeah. I'm doing okay. Okay, so here's the... Like, let's try to... Hold, let's try to put it away. Ah, oh, there we go! Ah, now collect an apple. Okay. Cool, where the hell do I get an apple? This is a cherry blossom thing. Music was rain over 100 on the C64 version. This one is Joan Hippel. I'm not familiar with yeah. Okay. So, where's an apple? What's the question? It's been like 25, 20 years since she played this. She remembers it a bit hazy. Yeah, I bet. Hmm. I love he just walks backwards. It's just. <laughs> Doesn't bother turning around. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Get the Where's the apple? Maybe I'll just punch all the trees. It's Minecraft. I apologize if you can hear shouting outside. I've opened the window because it's a bit warm in here. People are a bit, a bit loud and obnoxious. Ah. It's become a graphic adventure game, wandering about not knowing what to do. But... Yep. Yeah. 
Well, I think I've done all I can usefully do in this game, unless, unless, uh, unless, unless she, oh. <laughs> so yeah. Do you want to restart this level? I mean, not really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Music, yeah, do you reckon Ripple? Hipple. You will die, see? Yes. <laughs> okay, what's next? First person to suggest something? Uh, I might play it, depending on if it's something I want to play. <laughs> Press any key or button to start. No. Brian the Lion, here we go. Have actually done that on my channel, but no reason not to have a lovely look at it here. It's been a while. Brain the Lion. Ah, AGA. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I miss music now. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is irrelevant. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm selecting... Uh, no, wait. I, oh, no. Now I have to do this all... Okay. <laughs> Featuring console-style scaling and rotation, it's set on the box. Mm. Console style. Yeah, um, I mean, Commodore had a bit of console envy, didn't they? They tried to make the, 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 the CD32, which didn't do very well. <laughs> or just play it in German. Yeah, why not? What's lion in German? <clears throat> Difficulty? Let's go with... Oh. No, I didn't mean to. I don't want to enter a password. Uh, no, stop. Okay. Difficulty? Hard or not? It's normal then. <laughs> There's no easy. Reflections, they're part of Unisoft now, they may grow home. Grow home, yeah, that I, I've got that, I haven't checked it out yet. I, I, I'd like to try that. It looks, it's got that sort of low poly 3D look to it. Why have I got caps lock on? It's probably key, I was pressing trying to do anything on the game, on the, on the game. Oh yeah, oh, that scaling is, is, is wobbly and ugly. The steamy jungle. <laughs> Grow home is very nice. You really enjoyed it. Cool. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Bonus time. Two minutes. Okay. He's a very cute character, isn't he? Slap. Can I pick up those? No. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> oh. Cool. It's a little floaty. It's like he just, he kind of accelerates as he jumps. Which, oh, which is not how jumping works. You don't accelerate as you jump. Oh, ah. Okay, I can jump on things and I can get stung by bees. Oh, his cheeks are way too big. It's just weird looking. <laughs> Just leg it. Oh, hello. We found a tornado. Okay. Mascot platformers. Yeah. <laughs> the poor Amiga and its lack of hardware scaling. Yeah. No mode 7 here. It worked better when it played to its strengths rather than trying to be something it wasn't. Oh. Okay, did I just start on the same level again? This is the same level. Oh no, it's different. Okay. Hello? Are you a friend? Are you going to hurt me? Oh yes you are. Okay. It's that way, is it? It's smiling, but you're a bloody killer. I mean... I just noticed this guy's wearing Bermuda shorts. It's just odd. Like, oh. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was a short level. Maniac. Who, me? Bonus paradise. Right. <laughs> it's 
Mika the Tiger, obviously. Who? So we're, oh! Things to collect. One up. Okay. What is. Are those. those boxing gloves? These levels are getting easier. <laughs> like. Weird. Oh. And then we go back. Okay, I guess I just need to not go through the tornado thing. And actually head forward, so I probably did a weird side bit there. Alright. Fall, coconuts. Fall before me, your master, Brian. Ah. Damn it. It appears I am not your master. That's a springy platform. Whoa, look at that. His eyes moving. You never really get. I mean, I don't know. You get platform games still, but you don't get, like, super cutesy platform games. I suppose. So you get, there is Owlboy. That's kind of. This kind of genre of mascot platformer sort of thing, isn't it? Oh dear! <laughs> I almost didn't die there. Oh. <laughs> I haven't played that either, it's uh, on the list. It was one I was considering for a long series, but it wasn't, wasn't uh, voted for. At least not the top. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's, he's out of breath. At least I hope that's what he is. <laughs> Snail! See, it's, you can't duck and attack. You have to. Can I attack them like that? Oh. Wow, what kind of lion gets defeated by a snail? A lion in Bermuda shorts. Oh. <laughs> At least he doesn't die in one hit. Litwoski, it's raiding! Thank you for the raid! I really need to fix my notification so it will show. I, does it actually show on the. Game over. Thank you for the raid! Welcome to the stream! How was uh, how was your stream? Uh, restart. It's not let me say yes. Continue. No. <laughs> Character designs were newer. Never that good with a lot of these mascot platformers. Yeah, it's true. Um. Yeah. Raid. Uh, would someone from the raid like to suggest a game or anyone really? It's just uh, we're playing Amiga games and. Uh, Hello, Nick, 1980ZO. I have most of them. Uh, there was another one. This is Lancaster. Is that a game? Or did you just say something? No, it's not. It's not a game. I oh, use some Amiga shmups. That's cool. What did you play? Never had an Amiga. Well, yeah. Hello, Namco's. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let me know if anything you want to see. I could look back through what the previous suggestions were, but that means looking through the uh, looking through the chat, which could be Stunt Car Racer. I'm seeing Stunt Car Racer, Legend of Corandia. Is there an Amiga Transformers game? That's a good question. There was a Commodore 64 one. There's Thomas the Tank Engine. That's close enough, right? <laughs> No, it doesn't appear so. Xenon 2 is Wings of Death, yeah. Legend of Kyrandia. Legend of Kyrandia is a bit long for for this kind of uh, this trans world. I don't know what that is. You better play Thomas sometime. Play Thomas the Tank. Okay, we've got two for Thomas the Tank Engine. Here we go. Okay, you asked for this. <laughs> Thomas. Oh, wait. Thomas the Tank Engine or Thomas the Tank Engine t and Friends Pinball? Or Thomas Tank Engine 2. Terrorhawks, maybe. Let's just go with Thomas Tank Engine. This is this is gonna be stupid. <laughs> no regrets. Metal Force proudly prevents presents Thomas the Tank Engine. God, I used to watch this like as a young child. As opposed to an old child. Um Thomas is close enough to Transformers, I'll take it. Wow. Is it going to have the song? It does. It's so janky. Oh my god. Thomas looks so freaky there. This, 
Well, I think some people are probably too young to have watched uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Although it did come on for a long time, didn't it? Yes. It's like a. It's almost a horror movie version of it. Oh, God. Memory game? No, I don't think so. Normal. Oh, you loathe Thomas the Tank Engine. Why? It's still on TV. Is it. Is are they still making new episodes? Okay, should we go with musical sound effects? I think the music is going to scare the shit out of me. Let's go with sound effects. Oh, it's CG now. Hard no nuts. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be hard anyway. Uh, deliver the tractor to the farm. Okay, we, oh, we got mission select. All right. Let's, uh, wow, deliver medical supplies to the hospital. I think that's more important. <laughs> Let's do that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Train Simulator, uh, 1994. Uh, okay. Can I go? Oh yeah, I can change track. I guess I gotta avoid the other trains. <laughs> you know, this isn't as shit as I thought it would be. Oh, there's rocks in the way. I guess we gotta go up there. Damn it! Clear the line. The animation on the on the train is quite cool. The little uh, little what's it's are going. I don't know a lot about trains. I have a friend who drives trains actually. Uh, this way. Is this like a kids game? Is this like super easy? Because then I might be able to do it. <laughs> Ramming speed. Well, there we go. Uh, can I deliver now? I'm here! Wait. This is a kid's game, yes, yeah, I mean... Of course it's a kid's game, it's a kid's TV series, like... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, no, don't ram me! Why did you... okay. <laughs> I can't... Deliver. Do I need to... I probably need to pick up the medical supplies from somewhere, don't I? I didn't just start with them. Maybe? I don't know. Hey, look, there's a passenger. Oh, is that is that what I need? That's cool. <laughs> Do you know what the yellow one was? Uh, the, oh, I don't remember. I remember the red one was James. I think. Trains always run backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Did it look cold to the power station? Yeah, this is all going to be the same, isn't it? Take the children to the seaside. <laughs> Take the crude oil to the refinery. Why does it flash? What is, and what is that? <laughs> oh, this is silly. Some parallax scrolling, though. Look at that in the background. They actually made an effort. Don't remember having. Oh, wait. Uh. Thomas Tank Engine in Finland. What? Oh no! I was looking at chat and I rammed uh, whoever that is. Support the oil conglomerates, Jim. <laughs> I know you want to. I wasn't. Dude. We're, we're being we're being attacked by. Uh... Wow. The the the, the, the envir eco terrorists, man. Look at this. Oh. Hurry up, Thomas. <laughs> it's got voice. It's got voice. <laughs> Hurry up, Thomas. You gotta get the delivery to the train station. Oh, come on. This level is hard. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, someone doesn't want us to make this delivery. <laughs> it's the nuclear industry. They're sabotaging us. Oh no! Okay. Just like driving a real train, can confirm. Oh, okay. What does that red flag mean? Oh dear, oh dear. It's there. Those those things are always grumpy. The trams or whatever they are. Do we have limited lives or is it just oh, okay? Off you go. Facial expressions on the menu indicated that yes, this is the final level. Okay. Damn it, Toby. <laughs> Life construction of Northern Rail. 
No! No! Don't! Oh. Hurry up, Thomas. You hurry up. Fat controller. <laughs> That's what he was actually called. <laughs> I just didn't care in those days. Do they, do they still call him that in the new one? Do they just call him the controller? Or the stout controller? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm quite impressed with the, oh, the sophistication of this game because you don't really need to try that hard with a kids game. You can get away with all kinds of shit. Oh dear! <laughs> Hurry up, dumbass! <laughs> His actual name is uh, Topham Hat. Something else now. Okay, fair enough. What do you want to see? Get out there. Get me. The, give me those suggestions. Hurry up, dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't put the music on. Thundercats. Is that is there a Thundercats game? The Thunderbirds. Captain Planet. Okay, yeah. Wait, let's do Captain Planet. I think I played Captain Planet on on a friend's computer. Planet and the Planeteers. <laughs> mm. Oh, software failure. <laughs> Let's try a 500 mode. Reducular. I don't know which one of those was terrible. Starclick wants to see what Taekwondo is all about. Well, you should know. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? Captain Planet. There we go. Can't see it right in front of my face. Just type it. Cat Pain Black Udder. And there. It's in the Thundercats series. I saw the first episode of it. It wasn't really grabbing me, but what I really liked is that Lionel's father, the voice actor for Lionel's father, was the old voice actor for Lionel in the original. Sorry about the flicker. It's a nice way to tie the two together. Yeah, there wasn't much more to the Thomas game. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I did a few years back. I did what a few years back? Oh, Nitro. Wait. I sometimes forget all the games I've played. Wait, I need to shift this a bit. Uh, filter, vertical position. There. That should be alright. 1990. 30 years ago. No, not the 20. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. <laughs> okay. Oh look, we get to pick our... Uh, we can only pick between fire and water. Let's do fire. Fire, fire. Okay. Jump, left, right, fire jet. Sounds good. Remove toxic waste, fix the ozone layer, free the seals. Oh no, this looks awful. Oh God. <laughs> what? Hell. Oh dear. What the hell is that? It's like it's it's, oh, it's it's turned into a little one. And it's following me. Get away! I'll burn you! What killed me? It's a really I, I can't this is this is Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Ah. <laughs> uh, I always giggle at the end of the dick cartoons when the kids said dick, yeah, so DICK! <laughs> it's like, seriously? How do you not know what you're saying? They knew what they were doing. This is really bad. Oh wait, I had a balloon for some reason. Oh, listen to the noise he makes when I jump. It's <laughs> just bumping into the stuff. <laughs> oh, I see what we're doing, we're destroying pollution. Because pollution has nicely organised itself into uh, just squares. Oh look, it's a mutant! No, get away! It's, it just burns to death. It's a kids' game. 
Heart level is an absolute nightmare considering it's literally level 3. Oh dear. I don't understand what is going on. It's, it's cheerful music as the guy burns to death. Yeah, this... Oh! oh the water is toxic! You have failed! The earth has fallen to the power of the eco-villains! Wow. Come on, I don't expect you to tell me you're expecting the game based on the casting to be actually good. <laughs> now I'm trying to think that there must be one. Uh, there was some, um, just off the top of my head, uh, Tiny Toon Adventures on the uh, on SNES. That was a good cartoon based game. This is 100% accurate to the cartoon, so there's a faithful Captain Planet game. Yeah, again, a game that doesn't want me to use my keyboard on a, on a computer. No, not Jim, uh, they were just Jim. <laughs> All right. We're making sure the air is full of nuclear waste, just by the size on the boxes. Yeah. Water's just going to be just as bad, isn't it? I mean, it makes sense that water kills me if I'm fire. Sludged. That's the challenge for today. Name a good li Amiga licensed cartoon game. Yeah, I, I don't know if there were many. Bart Simpson vs. the Space Mutants was okay. Sick. Like, by the standard. Wow! This is brutal! Why did they get killed? Oh! This happy little dragon just. Oh, look, you can make platforms. For Iceman. Oh! That's interesting. You do a sort of bubble bubble thing. So, I guess we can make platforms and then jump on them? Oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's really unresponsive. It's just the responsiveness is, is bad. Wow, I, I can just go anywhere. Just, no, oh, it covered me in goop and I turned to ash. <laughs> it's hideous! The earth has fallen, yeah. Well, obviously I want to play as Captain Planet, I don't want to play as the kids. It's rubbish. Alright. Let's do something else. Uh, look, what, are, what other games are we going to try out? What do we have here? Uh, Duckula. Okay. Let's try Duckula. We, uh, we're looking for a game with uh, a, good, a good cartoon game. Tarkin 2. Could do Tarkin 2 after all transit. Oh, wait. Each kid and get to planet only gets one level. Oh, God. Is there actually a Dracula? No, there isn't. There isn't a Dracula. Okay. I uh, could do Tarkin 2. I think I did Tarkin 2 on a previous uh, stream, though. Count Dracula. Okay. <laughs> Still not there. Uh. It's, it's not there. It may. I don't. This this may not be. Uh, Transactor is neat, but a bit obtuse. Yeah. There's no. Uh, there's no Count Dracula either. Teenage Mutant Hero slash Ninja. Yeah. Okay. Teenage Mutant. Ah, the Coin Op. Or. Just. Hmm. Let's try the Coin Op. That's probably uh, that's such an old term, isn't it? Coin op, <laughs> as in coin operated. A coin operated arcade computer game. Uh, no, let's not have all the uh, cheating on. Uh, unlimited credits, though. We'll have that. Start level one. You can give keys in there. No, uh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Nice crack train music. Flickery, flickery. Ooh. More crack train music. I don't want to listen to this, just listen to these uh, these crack trains sometimes. Coin operated electronic video amusements, indeed. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, good 3D effect. 
Is it going to work? Maybe? Please press a please type in passcode. Uh, no. Oh, it did it for me. Wow. Okay. Let's see if the. Uh... <laughs> I used to think the crack track was a legit part of the actual game. Right. I guess all your games were cracked then by the sound of it. <laughs> it's like, why do the ones that never come in a box have the nice intro? crack games. Uh, yeah, one player. Oh, look, which one do we go for? You know, I was never into the turtles. Um, I couldn't even tell you their names. I, I, I just, I just didn't like them. I, I preferred um, Transformers. Transformers all the way. Uh, Sword is obviously best. Sorry about the noise outside. Hope it's not too loud. Wow, this looks good. I mean, it looks like the arcade game. Fire! we got to get April out. If it is too loud, I'll shut the window. But... I don't know if it must be so loud. Where are you going, anyways? <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Okay. Oh. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's okay. Like, I would have been quite happy with this on, on the Amiga in the old days, I think. It's never going to be what the arcade game is. It's fairly responsive. Can we go in the doors? No, of course not. Cool, but crude. Leonardo leads Donatello does machines. Raphael's cool, but Michelangelo is a purdy dude. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the lyrics, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit rough. Super Stardust. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's getting a bit of slowdown. Who is chucking these giant bowling balls down the... So were these guys supposed to be robots? I don't remember. Don't like these sound effects, yeah. Splinter taught them to be ninja teens. Why were there turtles in the sewers anyway? Like, I know they were, like, damn it. They were, like, mutated by some toxic ooze or something. But, like, why would it, were they, like, flushed down the toilet or something? Like, unwanted pets? That's really sad. Foot Clan, the robot ninjas, solely so they could be killed on screen. Right. Yeah. Because, oh, I can jump, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit rudimentary. There's not much to it. Oh, hello. There's more of you. And oh, the greatest weapon is the slowdown. Yeah, you can do rob you can do violence against robots. It's all just part of the uh, prejudice against synthetic life forms. You know, it's, it's really depressing. It's like you can't kill humans, but you can kill sentient robots. Fire! Oh, look at this guy. Oh my goodness! Lasers! Why can't I have lasers? I mean, why didn't these guys use guns, realistically? You know, they would. <laughs> Everything's a bit too fast. Your pet turtles are dropped in a sewer drain by accident, I see. Did they ever find their previous owner? Like, maybe I should just watch the show, but the, char the characters just... Uh... Oh, I just... I didn't notice uh, Choco Socks has joined the stream. Welcome to the stream, Choco Socks. April, what are you doing? Oh, look at that computer. See, I'm just really interested in that computer. So it looks like, like its monitor is quite wide and low. It looks like one of those portable, you know, luggable computers. Um, <laughs> that's more interesting to me than the game. Yeah. Yeah, why do they like pizza? Like, what has he got there? Holding. Hey, April, you all right? Okay. Um. Yeah, should we do something else? Because this game is a bit, a bit, you know. <laughs> what was the, uh, what was the suggestion before? Super Stardust? It's a good game. Pizza. Is that a bong? Is there a bong in the background? Look at that. That's a bong. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, and the game's frozen. In a rather undignified... Oh! 
Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's it's one of them. It's Bebop or Rocksteady. I never knew which one was which. <laughs> Look at this dance we're doing. <laughs> wow. See, this guy carries a gun. He's got. He knows what's up. He's not. He's not fucking around. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, so we have not found a good uh, cartoon game on the Amiga yet. <laughs> yeah. That is quite an entrance. This section is much harder. Yeah, in the arcade they make it as hard as possible, like almost impossible, so you, you have to eat all the. I mean, you have to put in all the quarters, all the 50ps or whatever. It always seemed like really cheap that you could put just a quarter, 25 cents, into an arcade machine and it would be, you know, enough for a full credit. Like, it would seem more expensive in the UK. Exactly, Suburban Fox. It's all about it's all about the churn. But it affected games for so long on consoles and computers where we didn't get rid of the idea of unlimited lives for such a long time. Come on after that shredder, creep. I mean, Shredder Creep, yeah. Okay, let's do uh, Super Stardust. Uh, wait a minute. I think that would be 1200. Yep. I like Super Stardust. It's been a while. Wait. There we go. Super Stardust, not just Stardust. It's six get discs. It's because of all the crazy graphics, isn't it? Uh, it started at 10p, then 20p, 50p, and finally a pound. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Trippy. One mark for, in Finland. One mark for a single credit at first, and went up to three. Insert disc six. Wow. <laughs> you just you know fuck around, do you? Um, Favorite crack track? Oh, sorry, I skipped it. <laughs> Super Stardust Crusaders. Oh, this one again. It's going to be this kind of game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The worst was uh, Beneath the Steel Sky. You'd move from one screen to another, it'd be insert disc 7, insert disc 8, insert disc 7, insert disc 8. I don't mean every time you move. I mean, for one movement, you had to swap it like three or four times. Like, what? Oh, that's a bit of a ripoff. <laughs> what is this from? They just didn't give a shit. In the old days, they just. Wow! They really didn't give a shit! Look at this! It's a complete ripoff! Wow! <laughs> one year's past since the evil Professor Schmaun's troops were defeated and Professor himself banished from the galaxy. Now the professor has returned and is accompanied by a new terrifying army of asteroids. I mean destruction. That's why he preferred to be HD load. Yeah, I never figured out how to make that work or how to work. Determined to gain control of the galaxy is more than willing to sacrifice millions of some and so forth. Oh nice. Another stream recently played through the PC version. Yeah. I I I was I never really liked the voice acting with the main character. So when I did it on my channel, I just I played the Amiga version and did all the voices myself. Ah, Ruhark, welcome. Yeah, I'm having a good evening. How are you? Why did they banish him and not imprison him? Yeah, or kill him. Like it's, it's a galactic war. Like you're just gonna <laughs> just just leave and then come back with you know more baddies. Rise of the Robots, 15 discs. Yeah, 15 discs, zero fun. Original status is a similar intro. A bit of a ripoff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting notifications. I'm j I've got them in a little what's it up there, but I didn't notice. Thank you for following Amstradler. Uh, I assume that's you're an Amstrad fan. Uh, let's 
Put our lives lives up to five. Detail high, yeah. Let's get into it. Echo Baz, welcome to stream. And uh, yes, you may ask me a question, but unfortunately you just wasted your question on asking me if you can ask me a question. So too bad. No, but yes, you can ask me a further question. <laughs> The story behind that game is vastly more interesting than actually playing Rose of Robots, yeah. Ah, yes, I remember. The, the, uh, the beginning weapon is rather pit pitiful. Oh, yeah, you can hold back and you can do a shield. I was always very impressed with these uh, pre-rendered 2D graphics. I mean, this is basically asteroids, you know, but, but they... they, they ooh. Gee! Gee whiz. What did they say? Oh. <laughs> oh, run out of time. Hey! Come on. Oh. I don't know what that does, but I'll take it. Oh! Yeah, it's been a while, I don't remember. Oh. RFL, oh god, great first impression. What do you mean? <laughs> princess Marjorie almost works as a communist princess anyway. I'm missing some stuff here. <laughs> oh, this is a Finnish made game. Von Levy. Oh, I see, it's an in joke about Marjorie for some reason. <laughs> uh, no, oh, level complete. Okay, yeah. Level 2. Oh dear. Oh! Where's my, like, health? I'm out of shield. Oh, it says in the bottom right, energy. Points! <laughs> I love the little voice servers you get in the new games. Shield, power! <laughs> Damn it! Enemies destroyed. Yeah, these are enemies. Asteroids. E, get the E. Oh dear. It's an emergency noise. A bad noise. Where's the bad thing that's that the noise is for? Oh. Ah. Alright, faster now. I got a thing. Heights! <laughs> I think maybe the, uh, the countdown is until something shows up. Not like that, or is it just a countdown? Oh yeah, oh yeah, now we're shooting lasers a bit faster. Oh no! There's a load of little chips and they blew me up. Okay. <laughs> Three way power up, that's what it says, right. The asteroids are Professor Shmuel Shaman's agents in disguise. Really? That's really stupid. Oh dear. This is this is problematic. I can't. Oh dear. Where am I? Oh, I went off the. Oh. <laughs> this gets hard. Yeah, now I don't have the power up. Run away. Damn it. Okay. Just gonna get some momentum up from there. Yeah. Flying backwards while shooting. Amazing. Not really. Damn it. Yeah. Just the, the weapon just feels really puny, you know? Like, why would your shots just wiggle around like that? It's just odd. Damn it. Anyway, I know there's a lot of good NES like system systems like the system and the NES, but there are good NES or PS1 inspired 90 systems. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, PS1 inspired 90s systems. I mean, Saturn was contemporary with the, with the, with the PlayStation. And so is the N64. I'm not really sure what you mean. Level 3 Fire Spiller. Like the system in the MSX. Um. Well, there was, there was uh, as far as retro gaming computers, there was Atari ST, um, 
this kind of, you know, same, same sort of uh, power level, I guess. Um, I don't know many of the others too well. I'm not really an expert in that. Oh! Oh, what's the B? Pite! <laughs> so funny! <laughs> Just a silly voice. E. Oh, yes! Oh no! Something's happening! Oh, it's the UFO! Oh! Spilling fire in space somehow. In space, no one can be bothered to pull back. Me wasn't really on the same level as the NES, same more compatible than 60 bit systems, yeah. Oh, sorry, you is, is the audio too loud? Let me turn it down. Okay, how about now? Those computers were MSX and Amiga. Razor XG, welcome to the stream. Hey, we're actually not dead yet. Predator. Look at this giant asteroid. It's, it's really a, a big bad guy in disguise who just flies, rolls around ballistically as he's falling asleep or something. I don't know. Like you can tell when a game, when the story to a game is written long after the game is finished. Like this game doesn't need a story, you know. You just, uh, you're shooting asteroids. Ranking vegetable. Wow. Which kind of vegetable though? Like an aubergine or a carrot or a potato? Because there's a difference, damn it. Hmm. Does it let me type? It does not. I don't know what. Oh. I put, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you don't reach it, buzz is a cheat code for the 3D tunnel bit. Uh, okay. I'm not pressing the right number of Bs, I'm sure. I mean, Zs. Uh, three rankings animal, vegetable, and mineral. Well, I guess vegetable is better than mineral. Like, I'm more alive than that. Alright, so what does we. Uh, I'll put it in as a password. Okay, let's just do that. But uh, put put some uh, suggestions in uh, for the. Um... Oh, wait. Oh, are you kidding? I have to do it manually. Unbelievable. Why would you? This get this thing had a keyboard on it. You know, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, let's do the tunnel section because that is quite cool. Steve Fusion X, welcome to the stream. Hello, I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? So yeah, get out some suggestions for the next game for that I'll be doing shortly. Feel free to repeat one if I haven't done it yet. Uh, I just don't really want to scroll up through all of them. Never get through the asteroid and mine fields to reach the end of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Echo Bears, I wouldn't say that it was so much inspired by as it was a contemporary of, uh, you know, like, because it really, the, the, the Amiga came from, it was the, the machine they made after the, um, after the Commodore, well, roughly after the Commodore 64, there were a few others, but it was more in competition with the Atari ST and other home computers than it was in competition with the, the Super Nintendo and other games, systems like that. As far as I know, because it was used for more than just games. It was like uh, um, they even used it to create some 3D graphics for, for things. Like uh, Babylon 5 was made with 30 Amigas to render all the graphics in that. Damn it! And of course, it was you know, used to all the other. Damn it! I'm really rubbish. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell where things are in real terms. It's like everything's just rushing into front. Oh my god, so many power ups and I'm missing all of them. <laughs> Congratulations! Pew! Explosions! <laughs> Still playing Stardust, yeah. Okay. 
what should we do next? Amiga Beowulf cluster. What? So, let's just have a look at some random stuff. Elf, Elvira, Enchanted Land. There's so many games I haven't even looked at. Chambers of Shaolin came up in the Discord when you. Okay, let's try that then. Oops. Chambers of Shaolin. Okay. This is a game I'm not familiar with. Ah, Freezer XG, thank you for the follow. Just noticed the notification there. Chambers of Shaolin. Pac Billy's Elvira video was brilliant. <laughs> for the Commodore 64. Fancy graphic effects there. How do we play? Oh, insert game disc. I guess that's disc two. There we go. He got bludgeoned to death by Dave Grohl. Yeah. Hey, businessman, do my taxes. Please select chambers or fight. Chambers? First, broken by Quartex. How many apprentices want to start their training? One. Number, name of a, okay. It actually lets me type. Welcome to the chambers of the Shaolin. May your body and spirit be trained well. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Definitely not these days, <laughs> especially not the body. <laughs> Oh, I just realized, look at that snake. It's coming out of the fan. Like, it's not really a snake, is it? It's a dragon with a snake's head? I don't know. Eastern dragons are different. Um, is, it, is anything going to happen? Okay, good. In ancient times, students at the pagoda of San Wu Ton had to perform the test of the stick. This meant that they had to ward off stick attacks of an opponent without the aid of any weapons whatsoever. San Wu Ton was a famous fighter won all his man-to-man -man combats with his bare hands. This test comprises the first chamber of Shaolin. Jim, push fire button to start. You got it. Oh! Oh, I can duck. I can jump. I don't know how to do anything else. I'm pressing the button and I'm using the movement. What's it? Oh dear. Can I just... Can you not? Like, it's... I, how do I do things? Help. <laughs> it's not keyboard control, is it? I'm doing all the things and nothing is happening. Ow! Uh, no. That noise is very unacceptable. Yeah, the font is terrible. No, I'm not I'm not dealing with that. Hang on, I'm turning the sound off. Because <laughs> that, that noise is painfully bad. Is it supposed to make that noise? Jeez. Uh, yeah, we're playing without sound now because it wanted to be obnoxious. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Heart stopped. Yeah, nothing is happening. I just all I can do is have I got just got to jump? Is that what it is? I guess that's what I got to do. I got to avoid. Yeah, I got to see where he's coming from and either jump or duck. That's probably correct. I thought I was supposed to like block with my hands and stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> He's still hitting me. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> this is riveting, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> this game. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good. It's over. Uh, can we do... You did stand 30, 31 attacks from your master before the exhaustion overwhelmed you. Good. Alright. Okay, now we're fighting. Uh, I think. Let's see if I can turn the sound back on if it will be obnoxious. Uh, there we go. Oh! Hmm. Oh, that's a rolling thing. Oh! Okay, right, I need to jump over that then. Wait, that's not right. Damn it. What? Is it? I can't jump like I did before. Ah, stop throwing shit at me! This is like... Okay. Oh, damn it. Whoop. This is really awkward. <laughs> yeah, I can't... The only kind of... Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game isn't... Uh, isn't working for me. <laughs> Hold fire and press. Yeah, I tried that. Um, little war ski. It wasn't working. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's do something else. I might pick one. If uh, Dark Seed's a good game, but. It's uh, a bit too long for this. Did a series on it on my channel. Degeneration was fun. Let's do Degeneration. It's a game I've played, but... I'm sure there were other suggestions, I just can't remember. <laughs> oh, this is not working because it's Amiga 500. Yeah. Um, you know a game I really like? Z Wolf. Double Dragon 2. Okay. Is that Quadruple Dragon? <laughs> the Revenge. Bit of a discussion about Amiga emulation. Yeah, there's plenty of guides online if um, if, uh, if you want to get into emulating an Amiga. Yeah, I'm using WinUA. I have a couple of videos on how to do some of the setup for it. It's not really like um, exhaustive. It sort of depends on you knowing basically what you're doing. But there's plenty of guides on how to get started. It's a little more, it's a little more fiddly than most uh, retro emulators. Like with uh, like Fusion for the Sega games, you can just plug and play basically. Uh, return. Oh, excuse me. Might just play for another half hour. So I'm feeling a little tired. It's been difficult to sleep recently. Double Dragon. Yeah, I had an Amiga 1200 back in the day, and you had to, like, if you wanted to run older games on it, you'd have to put in, like, a kickstart disc that would load some some stuff into the ROM that would allow you to... It's, no, not into the ROM, into the RAM, that would allow you to run older games. Uh... Basically, it's like you you give it the you know the op the, the the operating system of uh, of the A five hundred in order to play them. Five years ago, Marion, the friend of our heroes Billy and Jimmy Lee, was attacked and abducted by the evil Shadow Boss and his henchmen. The brothers discovered that she was tied up in the boss's lair deep in the heart of the mountains and bravely set out after her. After a long and bloody struggle, excuse me, against the minions of the evil renegade, they burst into a retreat after settling the going in many visions and coming to the heart of isolation. But, yeah, okay, this is this is not important. It's <laughs> okay. It's double dragon. Oh, acrobatics. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. See, I, I used to play this on, uh, well, the first one on my master system. 
That was fun. I used to play that. Used to play that with my brother. Two-player fighting games. <laughs> hey, that's a nice pair of nunchucks you got. Ah, oh, whip even. I can't even tell what it is. Gimme. How do I? Yes. Oh no, no! You punched me in the back of the head, and somehow that's effective. There we go. That's a cool. Can I fly the helicopter? I can jump in front of it. <laughs> Hiya! Hey, it's the it's triplets with red moustaches, <laughs> and they've all they've all had the same eye injury. <laughs> These guys probably were playing darts drunk again. It's not a good idea. Damn it! I was whipping the shit out of you, and then just there we go. Whip open the box. Come on. Oh, can I not open it? Oh, I thought it was a. Maybe it's the thing you pick up. Maybe it's just background or foreground. Ah, yes, there is. Hi, I've got a delivery. It's for you. <laughs> oh, this guy's big. Oh, he fell over. No music. Try M for music. No, nope, didn't work. How do you climb past someone on a ladder? <laughs> oh look, the crate's back. Uh, hang on, no. Oh, this isn't fair at all. Look how big this guy is. Just... Aha, but he disintegrates like all the others. Uh, wait, what? I'm stuck. Has the game crashed? It's loading, okay. Charlie Sheen on steroids. Deliveroo, motherfucker. Oh, damn it! Oh man, it's a bit harsh. <laughs> I mean, she started it, but still, <laughs> it's not not something I'm that comfortable with. <laughs> Come on, ah, probably F1. Ah, it's pause. Ah, F2 brings up the music. Oh, it's simultaneous. Why would it be off in the first place? That's bizarre. Maybe they knew your music. They knew their music was shit. So they decided to turn it off by default. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, he's like elderly Legion of Doom. One half of it. The music's okay. Oh dear! <laughs> yeah, very funny. No, don't fall over. How many lives have I got? Yeah. Have I got infinite lives or something, or have I just got a lot? No, I've just got one left, okay. Let's grab this thing, this was helpful. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay away from me! Oh, damn it! Oh, jeez. No, that's mine, don't pick it up. Oh! He disappeared, but his clothes remained and fell to the ground and then disappeared slightly later. That's really weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's stuck. Come on now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's a really fun fair start. Wow, that guy is wanted for a hundred no ten yeah, a hundred thousand gold. Yeah, so it's rudimentary fighting game. Uh, there's not too much too exciting about it. Really good in, at the time, though. Great fun. You don't see many games in this genre now. I, I mean, you see a few, like uh, uh, Mother Russia Bleeds, um, Castle Crashers. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a world that uses gold as currency, yeah. Oh, we can climb up here. 
Technos, technos, technos. Everyone jumps like a frog. It's weird. It's easier to drop, drop P, yeah, than, than the dollar sign. Hmm. I guess I need to go back and kill. Oh, Streets of Age 4 is coming soon, yeah. Oh, and of course, uh, Okinawa Rush. A fabulous uh, brawler game coming soon. Check it out. Uh, you need 7 pixels tall for a legible dollar sign, right. <laughs> Flying Kicks also solved the rest of the robots, yeah. <laughs> Operation Nope, welcome to the stream. Wherever he is now, he's naked and very embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> he just disappeared. Oh, this game lets you type your name in. Okay. Are you a bad enough dude to save the prayers? Wait, wrong game. Yeah, that's uh, two bad dudes, isn't it? Welcome to the stream, Rifter2064. <laughs> Thanks, Steve, yeah. <laughs> No, it's a legit brilliant game. I look forward to its its release. Yeah, I'm gonna play Z Wolf. I'm making an executive decision, and this will be twelve hundred. It's one of my favourite games on the system. It's just it it's like three D and it runs so smooth, and it's really fun. Um, great stuff. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm a bit tired, as I said. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny these old telephone numbers and, and addresses just on these crack trays for all time. It's really hard. Yeah, because obviously, you know, you can't. I wonder what what is actually at these addresses. What's one you'd like? Sorry, Dragon Ninja that you'd like to see on stream next time. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting how okay they were just having their addresses out there. Yeah, I mean, it's a different time, I guess. Okay, I'm going to shift this around a bit. Um, there we go. That's probably fine. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm slouching a bit in my chair. The internet has made us, it's also made us more dangerous. It's made us wiser, but it's made us need to be wiser because, you know, it's. Things spiral out of control. Okay, this is the crack. This is the. Okay. Three abandoned buffaloes are about to be captured by the enemy. That's a type of uh, military craft, not an actual buffalo. Let's make sure they don't fall into enemy hands in fact. Okay. Alright. So. Uh, wait. I've forgotten the controls. Okay, you press enter to bring up the map and you can look through different... So these green ones are the enemies. Uh, there's the buffaloes. Okay, so uh, was it enter? Yeah. And did we have to destroy them? I don't remember. Destroy buffaloes. There we go. Okay, so it's got a bit of auto aiming, but you have to aim roughly in the right direction. You got three types of weapons. You got your cannon, and then you got two types of missiles. And then it's destroyed when it smokes like that, and it takes a second and explodes. It's really cool. Yeah, all the blue stuff is on your side, but we're destroying these because they're like, you know, they're uh, possibly going to be captured. And all the green stuff is the enemy. And I just love the momentum and feeling of this. It's just really cool. This guy's going to start shooting at me. As long as we keep moving, we should be okay. All right, do we have any secondary objectives? So you can destroy. Okay. So you see on the mini map in the bottom left there. There's uh, just approaching one on this island. It's also funny that the, the frame rate increases quite a lot in the in the mini in the mini view. Damn it. Uh, when you when you've got the uh, map up, yeah, it's really good 3D. Um, it's quite amazing. Uh, you know. That they they managed to um, to make it run this smooth on um, 
on the Amiga. I'm going to switch to my rockets. I've only got ten, but it should be enough. And these are, oh, that's uh, that's been destroyed already. Let's see, where's there's one over here? Come on. Okay. It's it's the only thing that would make this a, a little easier is if you knew if you, when you were locked on. Look at that. It's so cool. And the other one you've got is these uh, air-to-air -air missiles, which don't have any of on this mission. Low poly, untextured 3D has a neat look to it. I wish Indie Games would lean more into it more. Yeah, there's like there's a small amount of resurgence in that, like uh, Sky Rogue. It's really cool. Low poly. There's Grow Home, which came up in uh, earlier on the stream. Um, I think it's like it's it's coming back. Um, Race the Sun has a bit of a wait. I, I didn't even look at the rescue POWs. Okay, uh, land to okay. Yeah, the 3D view is on the little map screen, it's really cool. Okay, we have some enemies. Take them out before we try to rescue. And I think we need to blow up the... Uh, uh, we need to blow up the buildings, essentially, to, to open them up. There we go. And then, we... Yes, G is our gear, landing gear. And then we just lower ourselves down. And these tiny little poly people, polygonal I mean, not, you know, non-monogamous, I mean, we don't know, uh, you know, they could be, you know, yeah. there's only one in each of those buildings, but, <laughs> secret objective, go skinny dipping with the helicopter, yeah. It's an indie game, a low poly arcade racer coming out soon on Steam, I forget its name, cool, hot racers or something. Okay, where's the... Let's go back to the. Well, not back. Let's go to the the, the boat. Drop off these POWs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then there's, there's like super hot. That has like a kind of a low poly sort of flat shaded thing going on. I think sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes, this is. I believe this is sort of very, very much based on virus. At least it looks all like it. Like. The only thing that's that would be uh, would, would be a nice addition is like is to um, increase the draw distance, you know, because obviously we're limited by the. Uh, I think I need to move a bit closer. Yeah, this just the controls really well and it's fun and it looks great. You know, frame rate was always a bit of a problem on old uh, old games, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh. Oh! Wait! I had more to rescue! What? All objective achieves. Okay, I guess there weren't any others. Oh, this is made by David Braben! I. <laughs> that makes sense. He was he was a, a master coder. Still is, I'm sure. Well, let me see so you can swing the camera around, but wouldn't be in the same game then. Okay, again, I didn't look at air escort. Okay, guide friendly air units to safety. Rearm from the camel. Okay. Oh dear, we've got an AI to babysit. This isn't going to be good. <laughs> oh, virus was by Braven. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But this game is so similar. Does it use code from from virus, or is it is it a sort of unique, you know, just just similar thing? Okay, come on then. Come on, plane. There it comes. <laughs> That's cool. I think in the sequel you could actually uh, you could be a plane. It's got this cool VTOL thing going on. Yeah, it's a terrible name for a game because it's like I don't want to install that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can also control this with the mouse, which gives you... It's harder, but it does give you a bit more precise control. But it's very easy to slam into the ground. Wait, I've lost you. There you are. Whoa. I see you. Okay. It might be a good idea to scout ahead and shoot things before they can... 
dear. It's probably getting shot at. Go away, helicopter. The skies belong to us. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, rocket time. There we go. <laughs> Wait for me, AI. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Necropolis. Yes, that's a fantastic game. Played that on the on the on the channel with Dreddy. Very good. Daka daka. No, Necropolis. It's not roguelike, uh, but I mean, it, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, because there's no like saves to go back to, and it's um, there. Are, there is a sort of meta progression system uh, but yeah once you die you're dead uh, but if you're playing in multiplayer you can um... did you just go for a walk around the block this is where we started <laughs> um... sweet um... yeah it's right yeah it's, uh, it's... if you if you're playing with it with with someone else then they can revive you so as long as you don't both die at the same time uh... then you, you'll be okay Keep going. We actually finished it. That was a good time. One of our air bases has been cut off by the enemy. It must help with the evacuation of two of the aircraft. Yeah, this is a quality game. Okay, let's see where things are. Oh, well, there's something right there. Stop. It's it sometimes is a bit fiddly in getting the the map screen back. Oh dear. Didn't quite get him. Yeah. No, you don't, helicopter. <laughs> I just love the explosions. Like, and the little dithering stuff going on. It's so cool. It's a delight to play. Yeah, I think the only way to really improve this game would be sort of an aiming reticle so you know when you're locked onto an enemy and a bit more draw distance I mean you can make a game like this today I've actually thought about it like trying to remake this sort of game because it's legit you know it's still good oh 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 and you could add some kind of meta progression system and stuff you know it's I think my health's down to half. Wait, it's a game called Virus for the PC. It's Descent Engine, except the map is based on your hard drive folders. What? You're shooting pretend viruses from your system. It wasn't very good, though. It's a good concept, though. Okay, what are, am I supposed to... Oh, yeah, escort, escort these to safety. Okay, come on, come on, guys. We're going home. Is it just you? Are we leaving this guy behind, or is he coming? Okay. <laughs> you got to sort of balance your um, forward momentum because if you keep going, you, know, you keep you press a direction and you'll go down in that direction. So you have to pull back, or you'll actually hit the ground. I can show you that if you like. Kind of, it's actually sometimes difficult to pull off, especially when you change your direction. <laughs> Where'd it go? There you go. Almost. Oh! Oh dear, that's bad. Oh! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Smashed into the thing. Come on, where are you? Wait, I thought you were coming here. Where are you going? So it's the yellow blob on the mini-map on the top right, top left. Oh, oh, you are coming. Okay. You got lost a bit. It's all right. Yeah, there's just something really elegant about the the low, the low use of low-poly stuff here. Wait, where are you going? Come on, you can do it. Aircraft arrived safely. Sweet. Right, 
better dock. Oh, no, careful. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean dock, I mean land. Get repaired a bit here. And this part is really cool. I don't know why. I just think this looks really nifty. So you just land. This thing just moves over to you. Extends its little repair probe. And... Oh, it's only resupply. It's not repair. Okay. Never mind. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh, I should have been using the keyboard for that. No, it's not repair. It's only resupply. But I think I have... Is it going to help me? Is it going to help me again? I like the name for the sequel. It's Evil 2 Wild Justice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to sort of land again for that. Okay, uh, so... There we go, I think. Oh, they cost money. It's a bit silly. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What's our other objective? Oh, we're gonna do the other one too. Okay. Hmm. Have I got these enemies already? So yeah, the map is actually quite small. If you look at it, it's like it's a it's a wrapping map, but there's not much actual land there. But it's really weird when you think about it, because like it's like it's like it's a whole globe, but it's like really small, <laughs> and you can't see the curvature. It's like I was thinking if I'm if 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 you made a game like this today it could be like these are like just tiny little worlds with really high gravity okay do I need to actually yes I do <laughs> so that was rather undignified but you can you can harness you can you can put a you can put a rope on it <laughs> and then just pull it around come on you're drunk come home oh look at him oh I don't feel well I drank the wrong kind of rocket fuel or something. Oh, you're not a rocket, you're a jet engine. Okay, a wrong kind of jet fuel. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Arcturus. And then, like, that explains why the sort of area is so small, um, and it would allow for the wrapping thing, and you could, like, you know, just deploy on these different planets. I really want to make that game. There's so many game ideas I have. I've got to finish what I'm working on now, but... What? Release permission denied? Come on! Let it go! What it, where am I supposed to drop it then? Uh, drop the payload on X. I am. Oh, oh dear. I guess I got to be more careful. Yeah, I've been, I've been struggling recently just to, to find motivation because of everything that's going on. It's been stressful. You know, but. Just got to do the best you can. I've been kind of, you know, just trying to make sure I can keep up with the Jim Please game stuff. For God's sake, just let me let go of the damn thing. Can I? If I do that, will that help? And I can sort of mission denied. I'll drop you in the water. Am I supposed to drop it on the other side, maybe? Selliness. Yeah, it said drop it on the X, not over here. What am I doing wrong? Carry friendly air units, vehicle to safety, drop payload on X. Well, who knows? Um message goes away when you're close to the front edge oh well <laughs> we'll have new versions of Super Stardust on the PS3 and 4 take place around spherical planets and more like twin stick shooters though hmm. interesting
Is it just bugs? I don't know. Anyway. I think I'm going to leave it there for this stream. Ah, there we go. I did it. Finally. <laughs> just had to be absolutely perfect, that's all. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a lovely stream. Thank you all for joining me. It's been fun as always. And uh, I'll be streaming again on Thursday. Probably more Seven Days to Die. Not sure what I'm doing on Saturday. Next stream after that. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. Thank you for joining. And everything. And yeah. Good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Uh, wait. There.